Hi there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and this is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. Now, first of all, I do want to apologize that I won't be able to show the my you know table and the spread and all of that and the cards that I'm using because um, my computer busted out on me. So. I have to make do with my um, inbuilt camera and laptop as we go along but please do know that I have pre-shuffled the cards and what I will be saying will be the insights that I'm getting through the reading for you guys Taurus out there again this is a general reading so please do keep them in mind as we go along so it may or may not really tune in and connect to each and every Taurus out there if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing I do post predictions and horoscopes every single month in terms of your love life and relationships so if that interests you please hit the like and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly so um let's really go into the month of september for you tours out there now i would be upfront and honest that um for a lot of tours out there you might actually feel that this month might be intense in its own way and there is going to be you know basically i would say up front that this is not the time for you to take any action at all remember in an astrological perspective mars retrograde is happening in your 12th house so i'm not just saying this because this is what's happening in astrology and all of that but with the cards that I have here with you as well, I would say that if you do take action during this time, if you do take action, um, especially if it's something very impulsive, especially if, if it's coming from anger or some form of emotional outburst, you might actually either come to regret it. And even if you don't regret it, it will be something that can be heartbreaking in its own way so this is not really a form of negative insight or anything like that but it's just you know giving you a, a, some form of warning that this is not the time for you to be impulsive especially when the 12th house is being highlighted in your own um, chart also with your astro dice we have here mercury we have you can see that it's the sign of mercury oops and we have here uh, Virgo in the eighth house. So another another um, eighth house activation is happening here. And as we all know, eighth house has a lot to do with first with money, with your monetary um, expenses and values, with your shared connections with your partner, or you know it could be business partnerships it could be a love relationship you know this can trigger a lot of um, psychological elements in place wherein maybe there are mental stress or emotional stress that is happening to you in a very personal level as well so um, yeah there are a lot of activations that is um, showing up over in this into this reading that's why i'm telling you that you know try to have an outlet as much as you can or maybe if you have any form of ideas in you know what you want to manifest into the world maybe try to write things down first and you know take a slow moment of time to reevaluate things if this is really the right path for you as you go along now but um with the reading your first card is actually the sun card which is actually very a, a very happy card and it is you know a, a card that really gives in a lot of blessings a lot of you know happiness in the air this being shown as your first card of deck would be saying that you are now in a situation wherein you're you're very much ready to venture to the world and you're very very happy and it is being crossed over by the seven of swords so um the sun and the seven of swords is quite of uh, a very tricky scenario not really a very tricky scenario but more of you know uh, it's a it's a point wherein you are going to take action but the action that you take might be you know something that is being triggered by another 
another situation another party involved you know someone pushes you to take action and you you take action so you cannot really say that it's it's you who is initiating it but you know there are various possibilities into this um, with the seven of swords this can actually you know this can actually talk about your your own plans for the future you know what you wanted to do and all of that but with the seven of swords i just kind of feel that um, there are other um, factors that can trigger you on a very emotional level so you might be thinking that you are on the right path you are doing you know you might think that everything is perfect and then suddenly you know i guess putting your guard down will actually come back to bite you that is actually what this card is you know um, telling us as and with your foundation card being the devil card this is actually you know some form of emotional intensity coming into the surface of things especially when it comes to the matters of the heart so i would say that there is a tendency here for some form of arguments and you know because the sun and the the sun is you know the center the focal point of this reading i would say that another way what the sun is all about is great energy great intensity for things and the seven of swords can be harsh words being shared between the couple so you know it could be that you might express a few things that maybe you you were holding back before but this time you won't hold back anymore maybe because of some form of remorse maybe you you feel that you cannot control yourself anymore you have to say what you need to say the top of the reading you have here the queen of pentacles so queen of pentacles is actually you know that perfect woman that every man would desire they are very patient very understanding and all of that so that is like your personal um aura or that is what you think you are also um so you have been patient you have been understanding to your partner or to have to you know whatever situation you're dealing with right now but with things you know maybe you wanted some form of more emotional connection with their partner but with them being the king of swords they are more pragmatic more logical and all of that so maybe that is not something that you you like and you know you, you don't like this kind of attitude that they are giving off and you might come into you know outbursts into i guess telling the world what you truly feel and all of that and it might come off as a shock and that can trigger a lot of disturbance in terms of the relationships and connections that you make and in the near future we also have the queen of swords so there is really a tendency here of you to assert yourself and for you to express what you truly feel demand what you actually want you know so so all of your feelings is just ready to come out out in the open so this has a tendency to you know fight for your own right which is always a good thing but that can actually create some form of um, turbulence when it comes to relationships now i'm not saying what is right thing to do or what is not the right thing to do but this is uh, an energy that can create some form of shake up in the relationship and if you guys think that this is something that is actually needed for the relationship to you know take a fresh reset then i feel that you know what you're doing is just the right thing however you know i would say that be prepared to where that can lead because you know 12 house is still the house of losses and there could be a sense of you know maybe you decide that it's time to move on maybe this is not working out um, there is also a possibility for that and then another card that actually representing you for the month is actually the eight of cups so with the eight of cups this is going to be a sense wherein maybe you have expressed yourself um very powerfully and you end up you know telling yourself you, you don't want this relationship anymore you don't want to be with that person anymore 
So I feel that the other person will make an effort to win you back. However, there is still going to be a lot of fears that is going to be coming in for you that maybe that, you know, is there really even a sense in continuing this relationship? So a lot of factors can be in place like that. But in your overall outcome, you do have the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about new beginnings and all about, you know, the energy of, you know, really starting afresh, really starting anew. So I kind of feel that this month is actually going to be going to be uh, a breaking point that is much needed in terms of your love life and relationships level we also have here um the conflict and defeat card when it comes to the psychic tarot deck that i have over here fertility so there could be a sense of you know feeling conflicted emotionally feeling a bit of loss um you might feel that you need to move on we have the moving on card but um the actions that you take can actually lead you to some form of you know what really will make you happy and what can create some form of stability in terms of relationships whether that actually pans out or not in the way that you wish for is going to be you know it's not going to be seen within the month so it will take time so whether you give that person another chance to you know to show to show you that you are really important to them that is going to take a little bit of time but um, overall i would say that there is a form of feeling trapped um some sense of fear creeping up on you at the at the month overall but do know that you can actually work things out there's going to be an op opportunity to you know have some form of mutual discussions and some form of reciprocation can actually occur that can lead to some solutions when it comes to the problems that are happening in terms of your love life and relationships so this is like a very typical situation when it comes to lovers that are having some form of distancing or there are some form of unhappiness going in in the air and then you guys want to you know um do something to to be closer again but you are unable to to get close to that person for whatever reason i feel that this this is like a needed push that needs to occur for things to actually settle down so there is a tendency for you guys to be able to fix your issues with your partner or this can be a situation wherein you might decide that it's time to part ways so that is actually the reading for you guys taurus out there i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your own situation if you do want a personal reading just like this one or you know a more personal reading for your specific situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website it is starsbychrissy.com oh and before i forget i did post astrological perspective horoscopes for each and every sign on my website you can do check that as well um, I do post the monthly horoscopes and a very astrological perspective if you are interested in that on my website and yeah um, that's it guys and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet like most of my viewers are uh, please do so uh, it will really really help me and I would really appreciate that thank you very much